And now just to demonstrate another feature with the data visualization, and we can find these features on the View tab. So for visual validation, um, we have a new feature that lets you instantly verify the logic of your model at a glance by highlighting certain objects on the screen. And this kind of lets you ensure that your simulation is configured correctly at the first time, and you don't need to um, play about with any menus or anything, and you can just kind of dive right into um, running and retrieving results. And so what we have here is a menu that allows us to choose which sort of um, disciplines that we would like to highlight on the screen. For example, we have capacities for queues. So I can go ahead and enable that. And we can see here, based on this legend, that these queues here to the right have some sort of capacity limit. And the number is actually verified on the screen um, of what the limits are for each of these queues. Um, furthermore, we have routing disciplines that we can demonstrate. Um, so we can choose any of these routing disciplines here. I'll just leave on circulate, and we can show the routing. Again, if we look at the legend, we can see anything highlighted in light blue is currently displaying um, a circulate routing discipline. So we can see that everything in our model is looking pretty good. I'll go ahead and run through the model now, and, and we can see items leave the machining stations down the conveyors as they move into either the finished products or scrap products. If I finish running the simulation, I can just quickly take a glance and see that 319 parts have entered the system. However, I have 369 parts in this finished products bin and 24 in this one. Now, I might be wondering, you know, what could have caused that? I would maybe assume that I've, I've got some sort of batching or splitting at some point in the simulation. Using this visual validation, I can quickly display any batching within my simulation. And if I do a quick glance at the screen, I see this machining for activity here now has another part that's highlighted. And if we look down at our legend, we can see that it's got a fixed batch amount of six. So what we can glean from this uh, new feature is that you know, we can quickly valid, uh, verify what's going on within our simulation without having to um, jump through any sort of menus or anything like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and switch that off now.